Lunch here. It's August 28th, 2011. I'm uh, out at the orchard and uh, I haven't made a video in a while so I figured I would do one over some of the things that I've learned in uh, the last year in starting up an orchard. Uh, the first thing I learned is that if you're going to start up an orchard, a truck or possibly a trailer, I don't know, uh, is an amazingly useful tool to have. Uh, back in uh, February of this year, my uh, two-door 1989 Nissan Sentra finally gave out. It was a wonderful car. I truly love that car. Uh, and uh, in its place, I decided to get a 1989 Chevy S10 pickup truck. An old, beat-up pickup truck. And uh, I thought I would probably use it a couple times to haul some loads, but uh, uh, it turns out that uh, I've been hauling cinder blocks, I've been hauling trees back and forth between the orchard and my house, I've been hauling all sorts of uh, stuff that I never even imagined. Uh, numerous bags of concrete, uh, you can see the, uh, the vine trellises over there, all that was uh, so much easier, uh, especially those 10 foot posts, uh, to carry simply by having a truck compared to a, uh, another type of uh, vehicle. Also the, uh, the gutters on the roof. Uh, those come in 10-foot sections, and it's uh, a lot easier to uh, carry those on a truck. Rain barrels. I uh, took a couple of them from my house and uh, brought them here. Couldn't do that in a, uh, with my old S10s, or with my old Nissan, I should say. Uh, so yeah, if you're going to start an orchard, I would uh, seriously consider getting a truck. Now, if you look over here... These are all pear trees, and uh, they're all doing quite well, and uh, they were all submerged in water at one time uh, while they were dormant, and they all handled it uh, quite well. Uh, so I learned that uh, don't worry too much if your dormant pear trees uh, get flooded. Uh, next, you'll notice that uh, all these trees are uh, still in pots. Some there, see some pots there, numerous pots. Uh, back when I bought this property in November, the very first thing I did uh, was uh, put in an order for 100 trees to uh, Adams County Nursery, and I thought surely I would uh, you know, have these all in the ground, you know, maybe not the first week that they arrived, but uh, Pretty quickly, I would be able to get them into the ground. Uh, obviously, that is not the case. Uh, out of the hundred trees that I have uh, ordered, uh, I've only been able to plant 20 of them uh, in the ground. Now, the uh, last thing that I learned at, in uh, starting up this orchard is that uh, Craigslist can be a, uh, a wonderful tool uh, for getting people to come out and help you. Uh, I'm going to have, uh, or I've had numerous people come out and uh, cut wood to help me clear out the land so I can plant fruit trees in the place. Uh, I'm going to have, so far I've had a little bit of a problem with uh, deer. I'm going to have people come out and help me with that as well. And uh, it can be very useful, but uh, at the same time it is uh, very frustrating sometimes uh, in that uh, it takes a, a large number of responses before somebody will actually... Uh, come out and uh, do some work for you, whether or not that work is uh, cutting down wood or uh, hunting deer. I uh, kind of like to think that there's a, a Craigslist ratio, and it means that uh, you need about five to ten responses before you can actually get uh, one person to uh, come out and help.